you might have seen my video about the EA app and its specific problem that it breaks shadow play in a way that if you have instant replay turned on when you launch the EA app and then you launch your game of choice, for me it's Battlefield 4 most of the time, the instant replay or, or your replay buffer, whatever you want to call it, is going to be stuck to the EA app unless you turn it off when you're already in game and then turn it back on. Then it's going to record your game. But this is really inconvenient. Instant Replay is about the convenience of not having to think about anything. You just launch your games, play your games, and when you make a good play, you just press your hotkey and your video is saved. If you have to turn it on and off each time you launch a game, it loses some of its purpose. And what do you know? The problem is now fixed, but it hasn't been fixed by EA, it was fixed by a user. It's a workaround, but I don't care, workarounds are fine by me. And the workaround is, as described here, you have to download NVIDIA Inspector, start it up, search for the EA desktop app, if it doesn't show up like this, you should just open file location, open file location, EA desktop.exe, drag it and drop it over here so it's going to show up for you as well. Then you have to click on this toggle in the toolbar because by default it's going to be disabled. Click on it and it will show you a lot of settings scroll down to the bottom and this one which starts with 0x809 set this to the one which begins with Autodesk and continues with all these thingies so 0x1000 set it to that apply changes and boom you just blacklisted the EA desktop app from Shadowplay the good thing about this is that not only does it prevent EA app from being recognized by Shadowplay as a game, you can do this to any application. So if you've had any problems in the past, which I did, with other programs getting recognized by Shadowplay and just instant replay being stuck to those instead of your games, well now you can fix it. I have searched months ago, maybe more than a year ago, about this, I don't know, blacklisting option. I found forum posts, I found people looking for this option because they had this problem for years now with other things, not just EA app. I didn't find the solution, but now, I guess, every cloud has a silver lining, as they say. I was having this problem, I got really upset, I posted a video about it, and some guy just out of nowhere came in with a comment and uh, gave me more than just a solution to this specific problem. Blacklisting and whitelisting applications in Shadowplay should have been a feature like years ago. I just hope at this point that this isn't gonna be taken away. Right now I'm really glad that passionate people uh, in this space exist because without this guy who publishes or does Profile Inspector, and without this commenter, we wouldn't have been able to fix the problems which NVIDIA, EA, companies just do not care enough to fix.